Michaela Schifrin, the American ski star, is getting ready for a big season. After slowing down last year cause of injury, she's back and ready to hit the slopes again. She's called her obsession with perfecting her skiing technique an addiction, and it shows. This year, she's focusing more on slalom, giant slalom, and super G. But downhill, not so much. Looks like she's aiming to take things to the next level in those events. But her return to form after an injury, that's where the real story begins. Maybe one race, and this was the only race in my career where I was totally sure, like, if I'm leaving him, then I'm doing it, making it worth it. And there's no other option. Imagine winning a World Cup ski race by a huge margin, over a full second. That's nearly unheard of, especially when the racer has just come back from an injury. But that's exactly what Michaela Schifrin pulled off in RA Sweden. After a nasty fall in Italy that sidelined her with a leg injury, everyone assumed she'd be out for a while. Instead, she returned stronger than ever, stunning the competition with a victory margin of 1.24 seconds. It was nothing short of incredible. Schifrin had been out of action for six weeks and barely had time to train before the race. Can you believe she not only returned, but won the whole thing? And not just any race, it was her eighth World Cup slalom title. Afterward, Schifrin said her main goal was to ski well and prove to herself she was still at the top of her game. Her team was just as amazed by her comeback. They could hardly believe what they were witnessing. Everyone was politely asking if she was in pain. But secretly, they were probably wondering if she was superhuman. Schifrin admitted to feeling a bit of pain, but said it wasn't enough to slow her down. She felt strong and confident on the slopes, and even mentioned she could have skied better in the second run. Schifrin was the fastest skier in both runs, cementing her dominance on a course where she's already won several times, including her first World Cup race. Michelle Giesen, who finished third, was blown away by Schifrin's performance. She couldn't believe that after such a big crash, Schifrin was already back to skiing almost perfectly. Giesen called it a beautiful performance to witness. Michaela's win was nothing short of amazing, but the road to get there? That's a whole other story. I fell, I kind of felt, um, I felt immediately that something was off with my knee. Um, kind of, it was sort of like immediate pain when I landed from the jump. I mean, it was a life or death situation. She opened up about how tough it was to come back from her injury, describing it like learning to ride a new bike when you're so used to the old one. It wasn't easy, but she gave a lot of credit to her team, especially her mom and coach, for helping her through it. She explained that it wasn't easy to bounce back during the season. Every day brought hard work and pain, but they stuck to their plan, knowing it would be worth it. Even though the journey was challenging, they never gave up. In the end, all the effort paid off, and winning the race in Sweden felt like a dream come true for her. But if you thought last season was impressive, just wait. Michaela Schifrin's current one is full of surprises. And the biggest one? She's making a major shift in her focus. But I, I don't think I could ever like switch from slalom to downhill, but I do feel like I- Even though she had a fantastic run last year, including a win in the first downhill race of the season, she's decided to skip downhill altogether. Why? Well, it turns out that competing in all four events is just too much, especially after the tough crash last year. That crash made her and her team take a step back and think about how to keep her in top shape. The conclusion? Focusing on fewer events would be better for her body and her overall performance. But that doesn't mean she's slowing down. In fact, michaela has got some exciting races lined up. For the first time since 2017, she'll be racing in her home state of Colorado. There's a Super G event at Beaver Creek that she's particularly excited about. She hasn't raced there since 2015, so it's going to be a real homecoming moment for her. The new World Cup season kicks off in Austria on October 26th, and Michaela's ready to go. This season, she's setting her sights on the Super G, an event she feels she hasn't been doing as well in lately. While she still loves downhill, it's not her focus anymore. She's all about improving in the Super G and keeping herself at her best. And of course, that 100th win is looming on the horizon. But Michaela's not just thinking about that. 
She's also eyeing the overall World Cup title. She's already won it five times, but winning it again is definitely on her radar. Interestingly, her mindset has shifted a bit. She used to set a lot of big goals for herself, but now it's simpler. She just wants to race her best and enjoy the process. Winning a few races along the way, well, that would be the icing on the cake. But what's really driving her this season? It's pretty wild to compete in ski racing over, over these years, over the course of my career, the last 12 years on the World Cup, but especially right now in my life, after so much, after, after so many things have happened just in the last two to three years. Um. Well, Michaela recently opened up about her goals, and it's clear she's more focused than ever, shifting her attention to slalom, giant slalom, and super G this time around. Last season, she skied downhill, but only because there was so much snow on the Super G days that she had to adapt. Funny enough, it gave her a chance to improve her downhill skills, but she felt like her Super G wasn't where she wanted it to be. She learned that speed events, especially downhill, take a lot of extra training. Downhill is no joke, but she realized Super G fits more naturally into her routine, so she's going all in on that. With 97 World Cup wins already under her belt, you'd think Schifrin might be ready to take her foot off the gas. But that's not her style. Even though she's been apart from her fiancé quite a bit due to training, she's still driven to keep going. For her, it's not just about the accolades anymore. She feels like she's got more to give to the sport, and it's almost like an obsession at this point. She's always chasing that feeling of getting better, skiing faster, tweaking her technique. It's what keeps her coming back, season after season. Schifrin's also excited about lining up with some of her competitors again, especially Sofia Gogia, who's coming back after an injury. That kind of competition lights a fire in her. But it's not just about her personal battles. She really wants to help grow the sport of skiing. There are so many talented skiers out there, and she loves being part of that group, helping push the sport forward. But here's where it gets interesting. Just as Michaela is dialing in on her goals for this season, She's also opening up about something that's on every fan's mind, retirement. Winning these races, it's not easy, and I never said it was, and, like, you're acting like it is, but it's not, <laughs> <laughs> you know? And and people were just like, yeah, but it might happen. I'm like, okay, it might. I, like, I'm going to try. I, whatever. Recently, Michaela opened up about her thoughts on stepping away from the slopes, and here's the good news she's not ready to hang up her skis anytime soon. While she's still figuring out when the right time to call it a day will be, for now, she's enjoying the ride and isn't in any hurry to step away. And why would she be? Schifrin is a living legend in the world of skiing. We're talking three Olympic gold medals and an insane 14 world championship titles. It's wild to think she first started turning heads at just 16. Her first World Cup podium came in 2011, and by the next year, she was already a World Cup champion. At the 2014 Olympics, she grabbed her first gold, and since then, she's only kept climbing. Fast forward to 2018, and she's bringing home two more Olympic golds, like it's no big deal. American skier Michaela Schifrin is making history. She now holds more World Cup wins than any female alpine skier. Her medal collection? It's beyond impressive. At the Olympics alone, she snagged gold in the giant slalom and a silver in the combined event. And that's not even counting her domination at the 2021 World Championships, where she picked up two golds, two silvers, and two bronzes across multiple events. She's been a force of nature on the slopes, no question about it. But in a recent interview, Schifrin got real about her future. While she admits she can't see the finish line just yet, she knows she's closer to it than when she first started. It's a bittersweet moment for fans. After all, watching her race has been nothing short of exhilarating. Still, we're not there yet, and as we get closer to the 2024-25th season kickoff on October 26th in Solden, Austria, there's plenty more of her story left to unfold. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more content like this.